camera angle. I really wanted you to get a little closer to the action. Um, I've come to a little bit of a decision and the weekend reading will come on Friday. That means I won't do one for Saturday so the reading for Friday will be Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, same as I did with Monday where I made it from Monday and yesterday. Um, I think today's Wednesday. I don't know. I'm losing track of my days. I think, yeah, I think it is Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, I hope you're having a good morning. Uh, sorry for the late post on Monday. I started to put the final product through the editor to uh, form it into one video to bake it down, and I didn't have time. That thing was going to go about. I don't know, 30 minutes for a 13 minute video, which was a little strange. Possibly a computer glitch somewhere, but I had to, I had to head out and go to work, so anyway, we're here this morning. I've got a truth move coming up, so I will be working tomorrow, and then after that I'm off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I hope you're going to do well, and uh, if you're part of the truth, maybe I will see you there. If you see me, if you see me at the virtual meeting, you know, stop over and say hello. Let's chat for a while. See what's what. Anyway, I really do want to get down into this because I want to have enough time to post it. So, who is our guide today? Well, <laughs> we've got money. We've had Saul, his sister, who carries the sun. This is Mani, and he carries the moon. I'm going to tell you a little something about Mani. Mani's messages are never gentle. Uh, one of my first personal readings where I drew a guide card. He was it. <laughs> he, was, he was not gentle. Okay, so brace yourself for that. Now, who is our spirit animal for the day? We have, ooh, Bobcat Spirit. And of course it says, life is a mystery. Personally, I think mysteries were meant to be solved, don't you? Comment down below. I'll be honest, some things I'm good with uh, leaving a mystery. I don't really have to know everything. Alright, so let's see what the good old Bobcat has to say to us today. Actually, first let's start with money. if I know anything. Monty is being pursued by a wolf and he and Saul both are usually stopping just long enough to say we don't have time to explain kid get in the fucking chariot. There we go. So this is why this is why I said that. It says time is precious. Be grateful for each passing minute. Using time well is a virtue. Be mindful of how you use your time, which may mean doing very little, if that is a benefit. Not a, So, we're looking at possibly time management to start out with. And of course we have our Bobcat Spirit, which I wonder what that is. Let's see. The bobcat moves furtively and mysteriously, and when bobcat spirit appears to you, he brings a powerful message that not all things in life can be explained or understood through the power of the intellect. Trying to figure things out, find logical explanations, or predict what will happen based on reason and facts will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek. Bobcat asks you to trust in the great mystery and let the secrets of the universe reveal themselves to you through direct exposure. Allow your vision to slip into soft focus, and you will see between the lines and observe what has been hidden there all along. Bobcat Spirit helps you know immediately the pulse of the divine in the world. Trust in the wisdom and the revelations that may come to you, yet know that understanding may not come as you would like it to. What you experience through your heart and intuition, which comes to you as the voice of your inner knowing, 
will guide you now as you accept that secrecy is woven into the fabric of existence. <clears throat> no matter what, the appearance of Bobcat Spirit is a sign that you are being called to trust even when what is revealed does not agree with your need for intellectual certainty. So yeah, some things, some things need to be a mystery, I think. You know, are we alone in the universe? I think uh, that's, that's one of those lifelong questions which if we ever got the answers, we would probably be disappointed. There's a chance of that. Some of us want to know for sure. Some of us will never know for sure. Just one of the many things that are out there. <clears throat> so, uh, for our past today, a Ten of Cups. For our present, Seven of Cups. And for our future, a Seven of Coins. Or pentacles, however you want to look at it. So let's see how today is shaping up. Obviously, we're starting from wanting that stability, and I can tell you right now that seven, we're not looking at that. We're looking at um, we're looking at a little um kind of wishful thinking, a little fantasy there, but we do have that, that, we've got that uh, family life going for us with the 10, so that's our base right now, we're looking at a, we're looking at, at big decisions, but we're all kind of a little, a little head in the clouds at the moment. And then on top of that, on top of that, we are also looking at feeling a little trapped and overwhelmed by our challenges. So far, not exactly great. I can tell you this much, there are people out there right now they wanted that family life, they, you know, that's what matters to them. So you've got the family going on. You got your kids, you got your wife, you got your husbands, so on and so forth. You have a lot of family obligations. You're probably thinking you're you're seeing uh, single people wondering, "Hey, what is that like?" Maybe you're faced with making decisions for your family and you're feeling a little trapped. That's a that's actually pretty natural. So what does what what do the stars have to say about this? Kind of ironic that um, we're asking we're asking our guides and everything about this, and they're saying it doesn't really have to make sense. Not everything has to be known, right? Well, they're not giving us everything. So obviously, forge don't follow comes up. Uh, Breath of the Cosmos is there for our present, and then all paths lead home. You know, the, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking the answer is right there. The answer is right there with your family. It's right under your nose. You're not seeing it. Possibly because you're, you're engaging in that wishful thinking and you're feeling a little trapped. You're not really being inspired to lead that's a problem because you really do need to lead now is the time to take that up and we're gonna go through and see if hit that one that one and the forge don't follow here we are so you you really do need to be the le the leader you wish you had um, Especially if you're head of the household, no matter what gender you are, if you lead that household, it's time to take charge. It's time to take charge and, uh, you know, right now, 
you can you can actually use this position here, this uh, seven of cups. You can use this position to say, what if I didn't have all that responsibility? And I know that's what you're asking right now, and that's what that's what's leading you to feel a little trapped. Well, today you can say, okay, well if I had a if I had someone to lead me, what would I want them to tell me? What would I need to know from them? And then do it. And of course. You can't wait till that path is perfectly paved. This is, that's a car for leaders, so you have to pave a path that hasn't been walked before. You have to go in first, lead the way for others who are calling you in. If you feel misrepresented in the media, step forward for all those who also feel misrepresented. If no one's speaking out on topics you feel passionate about, share your unique voice. I know that uh, sooner or later I'm going to have to and I'm not really the best type of person to put um, emotions into words that everyone, to, you know, to whom everyone, or to which everyone can relate. That is one of the hardest things for me. I tend to ramble, I tend to not really make a lot of sense, and maybe I'll get a few people, but I won't get enough. So that's something I'm working on at the moment. With that breath of the cosmos, uh, this is a good one. It says, "My will to Thy will." So you have to stop man micromanaging the universe. The universe does work for you sometimes. Sometimes it works with you. Other times it works on its own accord. A lot of times it works on its own accord. <laughs> your gods and your guides, they work for what benefits them. I don't care if it's God, Jesus, whatever. If they want the world, they want the world, right? And they'll do what it takes to get it. Even if that means sometimes telling, you know, denying you what you may think is rightfully yours. You can't micromanage it, it doesn't work. But finally, all paths lead home. Um, I'm going to say this, but I want you to understand something. Before I come out of the gate, I'm not asking you to change what your faith is. I'm asking you to switch up your spiritual practice. You're going to have to change things up a bit. The same old routine rituals you do. It can't be the same old, same old. You're going to have to change things up. And changing things up means maybe, not, maybe going to a different church, if that's your thing. Maybe going to a different temple, maybe going to a different synagogue, maybe going to a different mosque, just to kind of see... You know, maybe they're doing something a little bit different. Because if you do the same things over and over again, <clears throat> you'll get the same results. So, you're being asked to kind of switch that up a little bit. You're being asked to just change the way you do things. Not to not to swap I mean if you if right now it's it's a conscious it's a crisis of faith or something like that maybe changing the way you approach it is in order so remember you're you may be head of the household here so maybe changing the way you uh, approach your spirituality is what's in order not changing the spirituality or the faith itself and that makes a lot more sense. That can lead you to feeling a little less trapped and a whole lot more open to new ideas, right? So here we go. What secrets do we have for today? We have Yera. Yera is always a great card to see. That's always a great rune. We have Thurisaz, which is a, another one I really do like to see. And we have, oh my goodness, El, El Hazar Agiz, which is yet another one I love seeing. I love seeing these three here because number one, you're going to be reaping what you sow. This is great reward. Uh, 
through saws, I should be a lot more familiar with that one. I can tell you what uh, Edelhaz is. Uh, there we go. Oops, went just a little far. Here we go. Okay, yeah, there you go. Don't get drawn to any unnecessary drama. Uh, incidentally, that first, that third size is actually the first letter. You see a little symbol there? That is the first letter in Thor's name. And Thor is usually there to break you out of your rut. So it says, choose wisdom and remove the old thorn in your side. Choose positive flow of enthusiasm and passion rather than aggression, small-mindedness, and force. And finally, we have Elhaz, or the Elk Room, the Elkhorn Room. This is protection. L ladies and gentlemen, let me educate you just a little bit. Does that look familiar? If I were to turn it, say, this way, would that look familiar? It should. Because there are people wearing that very rune on a t-shirt. They call it a peace symbol. What it is is an inverted Elhaz or Algis rune in a circle. Why would you... It, and to me, the inverse of a symbol means to reverse its meaning. Personally, I do not believe that the runes have an inverse meaning. I just don't. These, these were also part of an alphabet. If, if that were a thing, guess what? These would have been inverted in some of the writings too. In both the el younger and elder Futhark. So we're going to get rid of that. But why would you invert a symbol of protection when the original meaning was for nuclear disarmament? something to think about but in this in this case in this spread there is protection there so that's important to know that you do have some spiritual protection really what what I'm looking at overall especially if you're the spiritual leader in your home I'm seeing a crisis of not so much faith but spirituality there's this feeling that how can I put it well okay we're not going to be able to put this very nicely I'm kind of getting that feeling from somewhere someone is feeling like God is dead as a matter of fact I'm looking at something here And it caught me for just a moment. Right there in that cup. I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can. Right there in that cup. As I closely look at it, it looks like a robe figure now, but from a from a little bit of a distance, that looked like a pope. I can tell you from this card, some decisions are not gonna be very nice. You got a snake in that one, you got like a looks like a scorpion or a scarab or something like that in this one. I think it's more of a scarab. But I am seeing that crisis of uh, faith, that crisis of spirituality. Guess what? That, that eclipse energy is still with us, ladies and gentlemen. And it, it's, it is rocking and rolling a lot of our relationships. And that could even be our relationship to our spiritual... Um, it could be to our deities, it could be to just the, the doctrine as a whole, could be anything. Then again, it could be your belief system around something entirely unrelated. And if you're feeling the need to switch that up, you know, you're not feeling excited in it anymore. It's not making, it's not speaking to you as well as it should then maybe it's time to switch things up. You know, take a different approach to it. Read a new book. You know, the, I, I can tell you right now, thank goodness for Amazon Kindle, because 
if not for them I would not have been able to acquire a, or amass a library as quickly and inexpensively as I have. Right now I'm buried under a ton of books I still have to read. Anyway, just don't worry because you are protected. There is great reward coming. Don't get drawn into unnecessary drama. And let me tell you something. I'm working on this one as well. So it's to, it is time. It, and I, I can tell you, this reading is resonating with me as well. Because I'm seeing things that I need to work on. It may not be the exact same things as you need to work on. But I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. How about we work on them together and we come back tomorrow and discuss it. Comments are always open down below. Feel free. But that's all I have for today. I hope that you got that this resonated with you. I thank you all for showing up. I have a pretty big announcement to make. But we're going to save that for later. Because nothing's been set in stone. I've merely just been approached. It is a proud moment. And once we have everything locked down, I will come back to you. And I will tell you all about it. In the meantime, that's all I have. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your likes. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much for your subscriptions. I hope to see you again. Let's have a let's have tea and coffee together, or hot chocolate or whatever beverage you like. I don't care if you bring a Pepsi to the table as long as you're drinking it. Remember to keep your eyes on the prize. Don't let go for anything. And as always, I love you all. Shine on.